Do you get mad when people call you cold, man? I mean, if, you, so if, we, if we if we hung out for a week and a half, nigga, and you still calling me cold after a week, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm be like, nigga, you know my name now, like stop. Word, 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 word. Yo, 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 what's up? What's up? What's up, man? Carl Payne, what's how good? you doing, dog? I'm chilling, man. Chilling. And uh, I mean, I, I literally, just like all the other young black kids, I grew up on you. Thank man. you, thank you, man. As thank cockroach. You. And you thank you. one of them dudes that like you still look like you. Oh. <laughs> what do you accredit that to, man? You got the print syndrome. Nah, just um just 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 good living, you know what I'm saying? Just you know. what's what's good living, man? What that means that? okay, like this. Like you ever you know, like a shark. If he stops swimming, right, he dies. That makes sense. So, I never thought about a stop shot. Yeah, stop someone. No, that's why you got to keep moving. You got to keep moving. You got to constantly keep moving. I so mean, they don't sleep. Far be it for me to you know not watch the Discovery Channel, but what I'm saying is he's always moving. He's mm. always moving. You got to keep moving. You know what I'm saying? And I just, I think that's the the key the key to longevity. The key to looking right, staying right is making sure that you you know you you know take care of your instrument. You know what I mean? Like like. I mean, yeah, we as black people have been blessed with, with <laughs> you know, certain genes, but at the same time, everything in moderation. That's what it is. Makes sense to me. Now, let's go rumors, man. Let's, 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 let's start rumors. off. Rumors. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't know I had some. Okay. Man, you, you got rumors, man. <laughs> oh, damn. All right. All right. Yo, are you engaged to call it red? <laughs> nah, dog. We not. <laughs> nah, nah. Um, are y'all an item? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> No. That's bullshit too. That's bullshit, y'all. Nah, nah. I mean, you know, Carly's my people. She good people, you know what I'm saying? Um Do y'all be doing it sometimes with nah, your people? Not smashing the homie. Not this time. Not no, this no, time. no smashing the homie. Nah, nah, that's my people. We go we go way, way back. You know what I mean? And um, Way, way back. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We go back. We go back. You know what I'm saying? Oh Carly is. That I don't even know. I don't know. Tell you the truth. Nobody knows. I don't know, yo. I don't know. I don't know. Just like you people just wanna know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I ain't got nothing to hide. You Google my shit. So you know, K Rad, she doing her thing, you know what I'm saying? Much respect to her, you know. Um But that is not your girlfriend. Nah. Now, um, another rumor. Damn, I got more? Yeah, it was right. it was someone in on the online that that was saying that you sell cars. You you own a car dealership and um. you sell cars. <laughs> And people was kind of throwed off about it. It's like, yo, Cole's this big star. Why nah, is he selling cars? Nah, nah. It's it's all good. Nah, like um, several years ago, several years ago, I started I started contemplating like you know, after business, like I ain't really want to be dealing with all the nonsense of the business no more. I ain't really like the way things was going. I really was not, you know, I just wasn't in a good place as far as this, the industry is concerned. And like everybody can tell you, they got stories, right? Whether you're in the music industry, whether you work for radio, wherever you are, there's a lot of politics involved. True. And even cast that I know that play sports, right? They were like, yo, they make you hate the game. Like they make you not even want to play based on all the other stuff that was going on. So it was a lot of factors at that time. And that was one of them. And I was just like, I'm done. I'm done with the business. I was actually doing a script and researching this role, and I was like, I've never had a real job in my life. Like, I mean, I don't wanna say real job, but I've never, <laughs> I don't wanna say real job, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I've never worked in corporate America. I've never had a nine to five. So how could I ever know what it's like from that perspective? You know what I'm saying? It started off as one thing, but it led into something else, and I just did it, you know? I just, I started doing it. And the crazy part about it is the money the is commission, do like people don't even know like cast that work in the car industry. You know, I mean it's a hustle. It's definitely a, it's, it's definitely a, a grind, but um the money was retarded. Yeah, actually. people when we, when you do it, people make it sound like yo cola janitor. Yeah, now. yeah, nah, nah. But see, but that's the misconception, man. That's All the right. listen, listen. At the end of the day, I'll never be a cat that sleeps in his car or ride off fame and hype because I feel like I'm too good or too whatever to, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like a job is a job. I taught my son never to have a boss. He's 23. He owns a restaurant. He has cookies. You know, and I'm not, you know, I'm not too, too proud to work for a living or, or to earn a check, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you got a family. And that's all it was at the time. It was like, you know what? I was fed up with the business, but I still had bills to pay. I still had to keep the checks coming out. I was like, you know what? You know, I'm a good people person, and I, I just did that and became the internet director. Word, word, word. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it was 
it was a no-brainer, you know, and I wasn't embarrassed about it, like, oh, nigga, until you're paying my bills or until you are doing what I'm doing, like, shut up, I don't care what you gotta say. Fight. What's your boss name? What's your boss name? Which one? We got a oh my God! You proud to say which one? Now let me ask you this: Do you feel like you were tight cast as a role as Cockroach or as Cole or Martin? At first, yeah, yeah, at first, at first. It was, was it hard for you to like branch off and get different roles? Absolutely, absolutely. It was, uh, you know, it, it's funny because a lot of people though, it wasn't just me, it was like everybody from the, um, the wardrobe people to whomever that was involved. It was, it was like a gift and a curse, right? So the show was so- Even the wardrobe people? Yeah, yeah. So it's like this, for example, we started trends, we set trends, right? But amongst our own culture. But the world is bigger than that, right? I mean, the world is bigger than us. So when the costumers were trying to get other gigs too, they ran into the same problem because they felt like, oh, they only know hip hop. They only can dress, so, you know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, they got credits out the, out the ass, you know what I'm saying? Tommy Ford, same thing. Before he joined us, you know, um, he was already doing movies like Harlem Nights. You know, he was already, a, a, you know, same with me. But it's like they, 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 they like you for one thing, and that's how they see you. You know what I'm saying? So I never forget I was auditioning for Antoine Fisher and Denzel. I mean, you know, him and I, you know, we hung out before I, I knew, the, knew him personally, you know. And um, <laughs> I was in the waiting room and he was, now nah, I wasn't auditioning for the lead role of Antoine, not him. Well, who you was like? Uh, the um, dude who was like antagonizing him, you know, the dude who, who, ah, yeah, who I know he had beef with. Right, right, right. right. And uh, it's funny because he came out in the waiting room like, oh, what's up? You know, say what's up to me. He's like, what you doing here? I was like, auditioning he was like stop playing like nah for real i was like no for real because it you know the thing is you got to fight to get into the room you got to fight to show people you know what i'm saying that you can do other things and be other than you know what they they know you as i mean i went to school for this right i was trained i went to 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 performing arts you know classically trained shakespeare i didn't read all that nonsense for nothing <laughs> you know what i'm saying classically trained so it's like after audition though he was like wow he was like you fucked me up he was like, I, yeah, yeah. He, you know, he gained new respect. You know what I'm saying? I didn't get the role based on other stuff. Like, you know, he really wanted people like same height type stuff. You know, and, and I learned that a long time ago. It's not because you, you suck. It's a lot of different factors involved. But the point was, I changed his mind. Mm. And it's all about opportunities, right? So that's all I ever asked for. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I, I can walk in the door and prove myself. You know, just, just don't stop me before I get in the door. Otherwise... You know what I'm saying? We're going to have a problem. I got to fight to get in the door. Yeah. But that's why I did movies such as um, last year, the TLC biopic. Yes, you know he was saying? L.A. Reed. Yeah, did yeah. you ever get a chance to meet him? Mm -mm, mm -mm. See, the way I work, like like I just told you, I work, I go hardcore for what I want to what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? I researched the role. So what I did was I wanted to study him from afar. You know? I didn't, because it's like this. It's like the camera. When the camera's on, you know, you, you're a little different. People act differently. Yeah. When they when they know when they know they're being watched, you know what I'm saying? They turn into whole different personas, right? Because you could have a cat come on here and be like this. As soon as the camera come on, yeah, what's up? Yeah, yeah, you know I mean, and all like, hey, stop. That's not you. Relax. So the point being, I want to. You know, you laughing because you know who you know. What I'm talking hey, about. You laughing. Somebody out there about this morning. You laughing. It was the bellman downstairs. Hello, sir. Can I accommodate you? I said nigga, you don't even talk like that. You asked me earlier, man. What's up with them bitches? Yeah, man? yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he did. That he? was just today. And I and and tried to sell you something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I got that sour. You got that. I got that sour. I, I'm my, like, what? My son already smelled it when we got off the elevator. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, he did. Nah. So so, it's just about. See, you threw me off with, this, with the. Yo, dude, you you're off. fast in a motherfucker, man. <laughs> you, so, you deserve this. I get it. So, so the bottom line is, man, yeah, I wanted to study him from afar. Right. So, because I feel like people change when you, when they know they're being watched. But if you really want to get the essence of who somebody really is, then you, then you don't let them know you're watching. That's old street etiquette, but you know what I'm saying. I got to take the gloves off now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you ready? Go for the gut. Go All for the right, gut. Cool. Now, I heard from a reliable source. <laughs> <laughs> Very reliable. Somebody that used to be on the show, the Martin. <sighs> yeah, go ahead. That you and Martin did not get along. He was always undermining you and whatnot, and you know he he picked on you real hard. Is that true? Or false? Yeah, that's true. That's true. What, what was what was y'all issue? I don't know. I, I could tell you what. I never had an issue. Mm -hmm. 
know what I'm saying? I never, I never, I mean, I, I, I developed an issue. Like, if you got an issue with me, I'm gonna be like, you know, what's, what's, what's up? You good? I ain't got no no problem with you. So if you got a problem with me at some point, then did you fuck one of Martin girls or some shit, man? Nigga, please. <laughs> nah, I, I, as a, again, again, if anybody did something like that, not saying that this is what happened, but just to just to comment on your statement, he would have had to been getting one of mine because I was there first. Like I've been around way before him, way longer. So if anything, yeah, nah, you, he would have got my leftovers. But nah, that's that's not wow. What I'm just <laughs> right. I'm just keeping it 100. Right, like, right. nah, but that's not what that's not what happened. I'm just I'm just I'm just bullshit. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm just bullshit. Nah, he's just serious. Yeah, nah, he um, I mean, you know, everybody, it's no secret. You know, what I'm saying we had a lot of tense days on the set. You know, we had a lot of a lot of intense days on the set. Yeah. What was that all about? I mean, like, I mean, you you add into the show. You, you, you're a big part of it. Oh, 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 ah, ah, ah. Everybody do that now. Right, right, right. Because of you. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you would say, what's the problem? Well, I don't get it. Right. Yeah, and then you seem like a real down to earth, cool dude, man. I don't, I don't. I would say the same thing. I was like, what's the problem? What's the problem? You ain't never check him and say, hey, man. I ain't say that. I'm just, <laughs> I ain't say that. You know what I mean? I ain't say that. But you know, look. Look, I mean, hey, Cole, you can talk about this. Are you do you this ain't gonna mess up a reunion special? No, because that's never gonna happen anyway. Um, okay. Nah, you know, I mean, again, I live by a certain code of ethics. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm from Harlem. You know how we do. You from Harlem? I'm from Harlem. Yeah. I live in Harlem. That's crazy. What part? It's my audience. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. I'm from the. <laughs> <laughs> see, they, see. Nah, you can talk about this. Yeah. They, go ahead. They, they, I don't want these niggas. Rob. I already got kids following yeah. me home and all yeah, kind of yeah. shit. You know, we in Atlanta. They ain't gonna know. You can, you can, you ain't gotta drive in in New York. Yeah, that's true. That's you true. Ain't, that's you, true. That's you true. can walk your ass off everywhere, and I walk everywhere. Yeah, yeah, but you, in Atlanta, yeah. you can tell a nigga what part of town you can say. I say <laughs> in in Gwinnett or whatever. Right. What part, nigga? Right. Right. Yeah. Come on. All right. So to address the situation real quick, it's like this. It's old news to me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, we had issues. He had issues with with, with himself, really. I think he was battling his own demons, you know what I'm saying? And um, I wish him nothing but the best. I mean, hopefully he's better now, you know what I'm saying, and in a better place. I don't think he was in a good place at that time. And that's that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. You know, it it, it, it was a great place to work for a long time, and then it became a not-so-great place to work. And I keep it professional as much as I can until you step over that line. If you cross the line and you come at me in a way that I can't sleep at night or... I feel like you threatening me, then it's, it's a different story. Period. To this day, Martin is one of you know everybody's favorite shows. It, I had a ball. I enjoyed it. It I, ain't. I learned as much as I possibly could. I mean, we. It was. It was like, come on, man, to go to work every day and do something like that. I mean, the chemistry, and that's what it was. It was chemistry, and, and I think, I think that's what happened too. We were all like family. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the times, it's really not like that. You know, but. That's the kind of thing that's innate and organic. You can't find that kind of um, lightning in a bottle, really. You know what I'm saying? And that's how you can tell those shows have become hits. And, and that's what it was for us, you know. And, and yeah, family fights sometimes. Family get down, you know what I mean? Um, and and I enjoyed myself to the fullest when we were doing it. All of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. We all heard rumors of why Martin went off the air, but why did it really go off the air? Because I don't believe that shit that you should. I heard. I should. Okay, yeah. never mind. Yeah. Right. With that being said, yeah, um, yeah, man. So what you working on now? Wait, she like the yay. Okay. These hoes ain't fucking with no nigga that don't like to pay. Hey. She don't obey cause she ain't shopping where she wanna shop. Yeah. Or staying where she wanna stay. Uh, hey, what? I know a hoe gon' be a hoe, so every now and then I might make a bitch get it off the floor. Yeah. I don't keep up with what I spend. I just know I gotta.